फ्रेंड्स लेट एस सी ए प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन थ्रांसिस टर्बाइन सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम ए थ्रांसिस टर्बाइन प्रोड्यूसेस थ्री वन सिक्स जीरो किलो वैट अंडर अ हेड ऑफ वन फोर फोर मीटर एट एन ओवरऑल इफिशियंसी ऑफ एटी सिक्स परसेंट इट रोटेट्स एट वन थाउजेंड आर पी एम टेकिंग स्पीड रेशियो एज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन एंड फ्लो रेशियो एज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फाइंड द गाइड ब्लेड एंगल एट इनलेट डायमीटर ऑफ रनर एंड विड्थ ऑफ रनर एट इनलेट अजूम रेडियल डिस्चार्ज एंड हाइड्रॉलिक इफिशियंसी एज नाइंटी परसेंट नो फर्स्ट राइट डाउन द गिवन बिफोर राइटिंग गिवन फर्स्ट आई हैव टू ड्रॉ हियर आई एम ड्रॉइंग हियर फर्स्ट इनलेट एंड वेलॉसिटी ट्राइंगल्स फॉर द फ्रांसिस टर्बाइन सो दिस इज द इनलेट वेलॉसिटी ट्राइंगल नो दिस इज इनर साइड ऑफ द इनर और इंटरनल साइड ऑफ द रनर दिस इज आउटर साइड ऑफ द रनर और एक्सटर्नल साइड ऑफ द रनर सो इनलेट इज हियर आउटलेट इज हियर सो एट इनलेट this is the velocity absolute velocity at inlet v1 now this is the relative velocity at inlet vr1 this is the velocity of flow at inlet vf1 now this is the velocity of whirl at inlet vw1 and this is the peripheral velocity at inlet u1 now radial is uh, discharge is radial so beta is 90 degree therefore vw2 is cancel that is vw2 is equal to 0 so this is u2 this is velocity of flow at outlet vf2 that is nothing but v2 and this is relative velocity at outlet vw uh, vr2 this is beta 90 degree now this is a guide vane angle at inlet alpha this is vane angle at inlet theta this is vane angle at outlet phi now now see the given now power is given p is equal to shaft power is given 3160 kw that is nothing but 3160 into 10 raised to 3 watt it uh, under a head of 144 meter so head h is given 144 meter at an overall efficiency it a o is given 86% that is equal to 0.86 it rotates at n is given 1000 rpm now taking speed ratio speed ratio is given so k u is a speed ratio 0.9 is given and flow ratio is 0.3 so flow ratio psi is given this is known as psi as flow ratio so it is 0.3 find the guide blade angle so to find you have to find i'm writing here the sum of the given is remaining so v1 is equal to we have to find the guide blade angle at inlet so guide blade blade angle at inlet is alpha so 1 alpha then diameter of runner and width of runner at inlet so inlet is this is the inlet so at inlet diameter of runner is d1 and width of runner is b1 so assume radial discharge uh, radial discharge means beta is equal to 90 degree and vw2 is equal to 0 and hydraulic efficiency as 90% so eta h is given as 90% that is equal to 0.9 so now we have to find this three values so uh, how to find let us see so see first formula once we know the all the formulas required for finding these values then there is nothing in solution because after knowing all the formulas only we have to put the values and get the answer so now first we have to find alpha so for that we have to find this alpha so consider this right angle triangle so tan alpha is equal to v of 1 divided by v w 1 tan alpha is equal to v f1 divided by v w1 now v f1 is not given v w1 is also not given so how to find v f1 so for that this flow ratio is given flow ratio is given so psi is equal to flow ratio 
that is v f1 divided by root 2 g h this is the formula flow ratio in that h is known i is known g is known we can find out v f1 from here so v f1 is equal to psi into root 2 g h we will use this formula now v f1 is known now for v w1 v w1 hydraulic efficiency is given so hydraulic efficiency is equal to v w1 u1 divided by g h now g is known h is known now u1 is not known so for u1 this speed ratio is given k u so k u is equal to u1 divided by root 2 g h now u1 is equal to k u into root 2 g h we can find out u1 from here then v w1 from here v f1 from here and put the values in tan alpha we can get the value of alpha now second one is d1 so how to find d1 now u1 is known u1 is known so u1 is equal to pi d1 n divided by 60 n is known u1 is known we can find out d1 from here now third one is b1 width of run now for that you must know the discharge at the inlet so discharge q is equal to peripheral area pi d1 b1 into v f1 now d1 is known from this b1 is unknown v f1 is known already so we can find out b1 from here but q is unknown so how to find q so for that overall efficiency is given overall efficiency is equal to shaft power divided by gamma q h from this equation gamma is known h is known p is known we can easily find out the value of q then put the values of q here we can find out b1 from here now all the formulas we, have, we know now step by step procedure of the uh, whole problem now we have to only put the values in this equations and get the answer now solution let us see solution let us see how to solve there is no difficult to solve the problem only you have to put the values and get the answers so now first find out v up 1 so v up 1 is equal to v up 1 is equal to psi into root 2 gh so value of the psi we know 0 0.3 into root 2 into g is 9.81 into h is given 144 so is equal to v up 1 is equal to the value of v up 1 becomes 15 point 15.946 meter per second now then find out u1 u1 because we have to find vw1 from here for that u1 is required so u1 is equal to ku into root 2 gh so ku we know 0 0.9 into root 2 gh that is 2 into 9.81 into h is 144 so u1 becomes put all these values in calculator uh, u1 becomes 47.838 meter per second now find out vw1 from here so hydraulic efficiency is equal to vw1 u1 divided by g into h so hydraulic efficiency is given 0 0.9 is equal to vw1 we have to find into u1 47.838 divided by g is 9.81 into h we know 144 so these values goes to numerator this value goes to will goes to denominator so vw1 becomes answer of vw1 is 26.576 meter per second now we know the values of vf1 and vw1 so we can find out tan alpha from here so tan alpha is equal to v of 1 divided by v w 1 now v of 1 we know 15.946 divided by v w 1 26.576 so the tan alpha becomes 
tan alpha is equal to 0 0.6 so alpha is tan inverse 0 0.6 so it is equal to 30.96 degree 30.96 degree first answer will come here now second second we have to find d1 that is diameter at inlet or the outer diameter of the runner now for that use formula of u1 u1 is equal to pi d1 n divided by 60 now u1 we know 47.47.838 is equal to pi into d1 into n is given as 1000 n is given 1000 divided by 60 now this this value goes to numerator these two values goes to denominator so d1 is equal to 47.838 into 60 divided by pi into 1000 so that d1 is equal to the value of d1 becomes put these values in calculator and the value becomes 0 0.9136 0 0.9136 meter so in mm d1 is equal to put as it is are not you also convert in mm so 913.6 mm this is the value of inlet diameter at diameter of runner at inlet now third and last is you have to find b1 width at inlet for that we require q then you have to find from here so first find out q from overall efficiency p divided by gamma q h so overall efficiency is given which is equal to 0 0.86 is equal to power is given 3160 into 10 raised to 3 divided by gamma we know for water 9810 into q we have to find into h is given 144 now q goes to numerator the 0 0.86 goes to denominator so q is equal to 3160 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 9810 into 144 into the 0 0.86 so q becomes q is equal to 2.6011 meter cube per second now use this q to find out b1 so q is equal to pi d1 b1 into v f1 so q is 2.6011 is equal to pi into d1 we know 0 0.9136 into b1 is unknown and v of 1 we know 15.946 so this all the values goes to denominator here so b1 is equal to 2.6011 divided by pi into 0 0.9136 into 15.946 so the b1 becomes 0 0.0 by 68 meter so that is equal to that is equal to 56.8 mm 56.8 mm so this is the simple method to solve the problem on the basis of transistor turbine